everyone, it's Laura from OurOilyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple beeswax candle. I mostly like to use my essential oil diffuser to get the scent or aroma that I'm looking for in my home, but sometimes it's just nice to have a candle burning. It just really adds a little cozy touch to the house. There are a lot of different chemicals that are found inside of the wax and inside of the wick of a normal candle that you would buy from the store. And whenever you are burning that, those chemicals are being released into the air and then it's gonna pollute your home air that you're breathing in. So that was one of the things that I got rid of whenever I got my essential oils. And like I said, mainly I use my diffuser to scent my home now, but making your own homemade beeswax candles is extremely simple. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make these. This is a simple recipe where we're just gonna use some beeswax. And I just buy some beeswax pellets on Amazon, which I'll link these in the description below. And then we're also gonna use just a little bit of coconut oil because when you add coconut oil to this mixture, it's gonna help your candle to burn a little bit slower so it lasts a little longer. And then you have the option of using essential oils. And I'm gonna share with you a few of my favorite blends to use if you want your candles to be scented. Now it takes a lot of drops of essential oils to scent even a candle this size. It's definitely more cost effective to maybe make a candle without any oils in it and then diffuse your oils in your diffuser because in a diffuser you can get by with diffusing about four to six drops for several hours that's going to make your home smell really lovely and get you those nice aromatic benefits. And in a candle this size, you're gonna need about 30 drops of essential oil to make this be scented. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one that is made with some citrus oils and it smells absolutely lovely when it's burned. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt our beeswax in a double boiler. Now a fair warning, beeswax, when it's melted, it is next to impossible to get out of dishes. So I recommend using some kind of container that is throwawayable. Like today, I'm gonna to use this old popcorn tin that we have. Anything that fits inside of a large pot of water because we're going to boil the water and then it's gonna melt in here. So this fit perfectly. Then after I melt this and I pour it into my jars, I'm just gonna to toss this. You can buy a metal pitcher on Amazon that is specifically made for candle making. And if you are gonna be making candles a lot, you can just save that for anything to do with beeswax and then not have to clean it. You can use an old coffee tin, whatever you wanna do, but it is definitely best to use something that you want to throw away at the end because of how hard it is to get beeswax out of a container. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour our beeswax into your metal canister that you're using. And this recipe is going off of one pound of beeswax. And I am not exactly sure how much I have because this is some beeswax that I already had left over from some chapsticks that I made recently here on the YouTube channel. And the good thing about this recipe is it doesn't have to be extremely specific because we're only using beeswax and a little bit of coconut oil. So you can double, triple, quadruple, whatever you wanna to do to this recipe, we're just gonna be filling these up with the melted beeswax. So I am going to give this recipe off of a pound package because that's usually how it comes when you buy it, either in a pound or, or two pounds. But like I said, this might only be a half a pound. I'm not exactly sure because it is just some leftover kind that I already have gotten into. Now this is going to act as a double boiler and I'm just going to stick this on the stove and bring this bottom liquid to a boil until the beeswax is completely melted. While the beeswax is melting, we are going to secure our wicks here to the bottom of our mason jars. And we're gonna do this by using just a little hot glue. So these wicks have a little metal piece at the bottom. I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on that and then just stick them into the center of the mason jar and press down. Thank you. 
Once all the beeswax is melted, we're gonna remove it from the heat. And then I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of coconut oil to every pound of beeswax I'm doing. And you can just add this in, kind of stir it around, and it's going to melt in with the beeswax. And at this point, we can also add the essential oils if you're deciding to use those. Um, some of the oils I have here, I have white fur, and cassia, cinnamon. Those would be great oils to use if you're making a candle for Christmas. You can use a patchouli with some sandalwood. I love the smell of those two together. Today I'm gonna do a blend of lemon, wild orange, and lime to make a nice citrusy smell candle. And I'm just gonna do about 10 drops of each oil. Now this is going to harden quickly. So before it hardens, now we are going to pour this into our glass jars here. And then we're going to take these wicks and to keep them nice and upright and in the center while these dry, you can just tie them around, either a bamboo skewer or a pencil works just fine too. So I'm gonna kind of twist it around there and then just prop it here to keep it in the middle. Having them tied in here with these pencils is going to help keep the wick in the middle. And then we're just gonna let them sit here overnight to make sure that they fully dry. And then once they are dry, we are just going to clip the wick to be about a half an inch long. And then these are ready to light. These would make a nice gift or stocking stuffer for anybody in your list. I already shared some other ideas for a homemade Christmas basket, which I will link up in the cards. This would be another additional item that you can add to that basket or just give as a stocking stuffer. Enjoy this recipe, and if you are looking for more essential oil education or you're curious about getting essential oils into your home, check out my free online class. There's a link for that in the description below. And if you want a free printable label to put onto your beeswax candle, there is a link for that in the description below as well. And if this is your first time by my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home, health, and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.